Oh, hello everyone. Hope you've been having a fantastic day. And welcome to Remember, an indie horror game made by Mike, whose last name I still don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly, but the same guy who made Core and Infineral and The Other Side. In this one, Remember, a short horror game where they explain it as escape from an entity and defend yourself using your surroundings. Try to remember. The game is a winning entry for the MITS IX Game Jam, apparently, and was made under 48 hours, and was heavily inspired by the short film Rot by... Oh, itchy nose. Uh, Rot by Corridor Digital. I can't remember if I watched that, but I'll have to maybe check it out. But either way, it looked interesting, and we're gonna give it a good go. Um, I, uh, pick up... Yeah, I need to... Okay, this is good. Throw the crate into the void. Oh, hello. No. Mm, throw objects at the monster to stun it. Well, now we know that something comes after us. I want to get a, a better look at it, though. Throw... yeah. Interesting on... But this time... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna walk backwards. Unless something, like, blocks my path. Yeah. Huh. 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 What? 826, 810, 222, 960, 720, 496, 478, 496, 484? Or, 444? What? Uh... No. Fuck now. Okay, so it gives me a number that I'm meant to remember? Okay, give me the number. 824, gotcha. 824 would be easy to remember, especially if I know... I, I didn't know that was the expectation before. Nope. Hey, get, no, get back. Get back. Get back. 824. Get out of here. He died. Good. That's what you get for acting to Mickey, Virginia. Disgusting. Can't pick up anything anymore. No, that was it. Apparently that was it. Well... Very, very, very short. I mean, it was made in... What was it? 48? 48 hours? 48 hours. The monster, I'd say, is possibly... Oh my god, my nose is just so itchy today. The monster design is pretty damn cool. What does it say in the credits? Um, design, art, and code. Oh my god, I... Is that a Polish name? Monster 3D model. I mean, props to the guy... Props to... I'm, I can't pronounce their name. I, I, I'm sorry, but props to the guy that made the Monster 3D model. It's really nice. I do like the model. Very uh, nicely made. Character animations, I guess, too, would be a good part of it. Everything wrapped together pretty nicely. Uh, but very, very, very short game. I'd prefer the little bit longer games that usually they'd make. But otherwise, an interesting short little horror game. I guess I'd have to release this as part of a nice 2-in-1 or 3-in-1 bundle video, so I don't know when this will be uploaded. But, it's an interesting little short horror game. I guess it's like, it would be a test to see, hey, if you're frantically trying to run from something, will you become more forgetful? And the answer is, yeah, typically. Unless you know that that's what they want you to do. Like, I, it's like whenever I play an indie horror game and I find a code, there's been many moments in my history of playing indie horrors where it's just like, you know, I'll write a note and I'll be like, ah, okay, 9621, I got it. And then... I'll get to the door, just like 30 seconds later, I'll be like... Wait, what was the code again? And it's like, if a monster distracts you in between, even worse. Because it's just like trying to remember something, it's just how your brain works with short-term memory. And then, I don't know, there's like a little space in between. I'm trying to remember the like what I learned in university, like as a diagram method. But it's like, think of it like two wheels. You have a short-term memory, and you have to keep rotating it on the wheel repeatedly and repeatedly. And there's like a middle ground section connected to it, but then the long-term energy source, which you might as well consider like a reservoir, or like a void. 
or like an iceberg in an ocean sort of thing. You know, you just gotta have it like that. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, well, I mean, I, no intro needed, but let's just go to the next video. <sighs> Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Control Room Alpha, uh, made by Mike again. I'm gonna presume it's Mike Klubnika, and I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> but we're gonna get into this new short horror game that they've made. Alright, interact with E. Do I copy? Yes. Uh. Oh, hello. Kind of nest. Oh no! No, close it! No, why does it be spiders? Oh no. Spiders are banging the metal, excuse me. Um, let's, I'll just use my logic. Okay. What kind of samples? Well, oh, laser beam too, that's cool. Oh, that's not even near it. Okay, hang on. Is it, like, just not close enough? And um, my depth perception's weird? I guess so. Oh. Okay. Well now, I will remind you to be very careful with handling this vessel. Mm -hmm. Each one is worth over one million Vietnamese dollars. V v Vietnamese dollars, okay. Hm. Oops, wrong. Wrong button. Why did it break the glass? Why are there spiders in the place that just has... Why? Why is there... I have so many questions, like... Why... Was a place... That's sealed, full of spiders, and the crane can just get access to it and all that. <laughs> Big ass spiders. Exit at own risk. Uh, great. They're gonna jump at me or do something before I reach back, aren't they? Ugh. Oh, Gross. Ugh. Oh, 
know how they're gonna have me do that again, I just know it. Good job, comrade. We might not have gotten all the sap, but for the first time... What? Oh, God, now I'm first through the class. Ugh, gross. Oh, that was... Ugh. I mean, it didn't get me as a jump scare, but I'm sure you'll have a bunch of the other YouTubers that'll play it and start screeching, but... It, the reaction, at least for me, it, it's the definite audio, audible, just ugh, grossness, you know? Just, oh, Like, I, I, I don't know if I'd say I have arachnophobia, because phobias are still an irrational fear. A lot of people like to throw around the phobic and phobia word without really fully realizing phobic is irrational fear. If you have a rational hatred or rational fear, it's not phobic. It is grounded with rational reasoning, but just depends on why. And for me, it's because my childhood, there'd be so many moments where it's like, say, randomly you're just minding your own business walking down a hallway, right? And then a spider is dangling down on a web and it's like right in front of your face and just and plops on your face because you walked into it while it was stringing down and just lands on your head or face and then you go ah! just like screeching and flailing and smacking your face that happened to me twice in my childhood and ever since then and finding a spider on my pillow when I was trying to go to bed one time and the absolute just how ugly some of the house spiders are in Canada like they're not poisonous they can bite but they're just really ugly you know like the angry little like either like they, they're like i don't know they, they're not recluse spiders or wolf spiders but they're just like either like just the non-hairy black or brown and they're just like they move around really fast and creepily if they're orb weavers i don't usually care because they just sit in a web all goddamn day and don't do anything then i don't care there's one even by my front door and there's so many dead ants there, and I just vacuum around it, but let the spider be, because he just sits there, waits for food, eats the food. He gets rid he gets rid of the pests of any of the ants that try to lurk into my home or my apartment room. I leave him alone. He's friend. He is friend. And so is jumping spiders, because they're more afraid of you visibly. Like they'll jump around and try to avoid you. Jumping spiders, they're called George. I love them. But these kind of spiders that they display, they're the ones that crawl everywhere, go everywhere, roam everywhere. They hunt for food, and they are gross, and I don't like them. They can go away, they can get flushed down the toilet, or they get trapped in a cup until they die. I don't care. But it's it's more of a rational, gross... I, I just don't like them. And I don't like when they actually bite me. I possibly still have a bite on my arm that still hasn't healed, and it's just like this dry, itchy scar bump, and I don't like it. But either way, disgusting. But I'm sure it does its job for being an indie horror game that makes you dread wanting to leave. And people with arachnophobia especially are probably going to love playing this game. But either way, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rawr.